Around about this time last year, I covered this. This is a bottle of Hendrix Midsummer Solstice, and it was the 2019 special release by Leslie Gracie and William Grants and Sons for their signature gin. Now, long story short, I really liked it, and so did Susan, who was trying it with me at the time, and if you've not seen the video, then you can watch the card sort of now. Also, it was bottled in the standard apothecary bottle in this lovely sort of lilac-y purple colour, and it's a beautiful floral gin, and you should absolutely drink it. Since I did that review, however, I've had a lot of people requesting other Hendrix releases, and at the time, there was only two other ones, the standard and this. This is Hendrix Orbium, and it's the first special release that Hendrix have done, and it is a quinonated gin. And also, it's in a beautiful, deep sapphire blue bottle, which, if nothing else, is gorgeous. The gin itself states to be a limited release, it's 43.4% alcohol by volume, and it's made with wormwood and blue lotus, which are ingredients that you don't normally tend to see in a gin. Wormwood in particular is normally seen in absinthe, which Hendrix are currently toying around with releasing as well. On the back it reads, Orbium is a reimagining of Hendrix Gin by our master distiller Miss Leslie Gracie, instilled with additional extracts of quinine, wormwood, and blue lotus blossom. The result is an oddly exquisite gin. It is what Hendrix Gin might taste like in a parallel universe. It is most certainly not for everyone. This gin is a bit of an unusual one for me because obviously quinine is not normally found in gin, but it is normally found in tonic. So to give this the best idea of what it's like on its own, I decided to try it neat first, and I was kind of blown away with how coriander, herbaceous, lemon, and supremely floral both the nose and the taste were. Once I mixed it with a quinine-free tonic, I chose Cushy Doos. I'm not sponsored to choose Cushy Doos, I just thought it was sort of an interesting experiment because there's quinine in the gin and no quinine in the tonic. I was curious to see how the two would play together, and I might do this again with a quinonated tonic just to kind of see if they end up colliding a bit too much. But the overall impression that I got from the gin was that it was almost an explosion in a sweet factory. To me, the palette was marshmallows, powdered sugar, all those kinds of visceral, super sugary flavours. There was a hint of a herbaceous note, there was a fair bit of coriander, a little bit of pepper, a fair bit of lemon peel, and a juniper bitterness. And the gin just kept evolving as I drank it. It was really quite remarkable. It was an adventure in and of itself. Have you guys tried Hendrix Orbium? Let me know down below. Do you think the bottle is beautiful? Let me know down below. Would you like to see me try more Hendrix Limited Editions? I ask because there has been another one. Actually, there's been two released. Three if you count the alcohol-free version. I do actually have the alcohol-free versions, and if you want me to talk about them, I can do. I just wasn't sure if people would actually be interested or not because, eh, alcohol-free gin? It's, it's, it's weird, right? It's not just me.